we got some absolutely fantastic, fantastic box elder burl uh, the other day. And I need to get it, the moisture content, the MC down, before winter time. And I already know there's going to be a tremendous amount of drying loss in this material. It's, it's the nature of the game. I mean, you just don't get, you know, you just don't get thick, thick figured lumber to dry without some drying loss. And so what I'm going to do is I'm building basically a forced air um, ambient temperature drying tunnel, so to speak. And so underneath that plastic is an eight foot by five, five and a half foot pallet. And we're going to stack all of this on it. Now you might notice that'll be stacked high and narrow, which is fine because the weight is key. So the most important slabs go to the bottom and then we'll stack everything else, kind of hold it down. Then we'll wrap it over and I have a large forced air box fan, greenhouse fan there. You notice I built it into a cabinet and we're just going to pump air through it. And in order to keep it from drying too fast, I'll throttle the outside. Um, almost like closing up the drawstring on say a, a, a flower spout right or a grain spout just that way I can vary I don't want them drying too quickly but I need to I need to get that drying started and I need to get it as dry as possible before we hit that cold weather so first we're going to stack them then I'll show you exactly what that looks like wrap it up and over hopefully we can pressurize it like a great big sausage casing and get some of this good stuff done so you can see how I'm stacking it now. And I'm using extra wide stickers, even though I know I'm going to have problems with height. But I want that air, you know, to migrate through all this, which is why I'm going to wrap it, you know, tightly with the tarp there. So the stickers go in with the direction of the wind. And uh, you stack on top as high as you, as high as you can. And hold, hold these things together. Look at that. Look at that figure. I mean, I know it's not sanded and... But oh, ho, 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 ho. that is amazing. It was like discovering gold when we started opening these logs up. Very cool. There's a video of it in the channel if you're curious. Okay, so basically now for the next couple hours, I just keep stacking. As you stack, it's really important to try to keep them level. So when you run into boards like this, which have a a saw blade swale where the uh, a dull blade dove and came up. You want to space it a little wider, put something square across the top. You know, it doesn't matter if they tip like this and like this, especially in short ones, just as long as they're a level plane between the one and the next. So I'll use some of these thinner ones here and make this level um, and deal with that swale at a later date. This is about the worst thing you could have happen. <laughs> right, right in the middle of stacking. But in theory, in theory, your fan will dry out all the water. So there it is, nearly all stacked. You know, I'm using those big slabs, kind of like wind buffer and deflectors to hopefully push air through more than around. And I got that top piece just uh, padding because this is going to whip around and I don't want to wear a hole in or anything like that. And we're about to curl it up and install the fan and um, the rear baffle. Here it is running. And you can feel the damp air coming out of it. And it smells. This was the stinkiest wood we cut in a long time. Kind of a coyingly sweet smell. Anyways, it attracts yellow jackets and fruit flies. They just swarm around it. I'm hoping that'll go away as it dries. So yeah, it's kind of throttled down, forcing the air through this stack right here. You know, I can pinch this down even more, limit the air, or I can undo the screws and let her roar full bore. I have it 
somewhere in the middle right now. There's a, a very good breeze coming through. So, that's it. That's how I've got this stack of burrow wood drying in the hopes that I can get it, get the moisture content down before hard winter freezes. We'll see. We'll see.